After getting his first paycheck of the season, Miko Patterson decided to spend a little bit. Take a look at that car, a nice orange tint with the orange shirt for uh, just representing the Edmonton Noise. He's going to be cruising down and to in that kind of car. And uh, we'll see. He actually, uh, his buddy told he, him and Taylor Hall are planning a race. We'll see how that goes. How's it going, guys? It's Jerry Deep here in Cypher. Episode number four of my Miko Pedersen Live the Life series. Uh, we're the Edmonton Oilers, and we started off with a pretty slow start, 8 and 9 to start the season. Uh, definitely not not the season we had, the start that we had in our first year. But uh, with uh, player stats, as you'll see, Pedersen not really doing too well. He's doing okay, I guess you can say. But uh, other than that, what is it? Eight goals, eight goals and five assists for thirteen points in seventeen games. Anderson's doing well in terms of players' production, but other than that, eh, not much to uh, ask for. And uh, so I'm gonna take a look at my uh, pro uh, just sort of for the player growth to see. Yeah, we can add on some stuff. So what I'm gonna add is puck control and passing here. And in our next one, we're gonna add uh, a lot of faceoffs and. Yeah, yeah, why not? Just throw that in there. Actually, you know, we'll save it for another better thing. And then here we go. We'll put speed twice just to be even faster. <laughs> I mean, I got to probably put my acceleration up a little bit more. But at 94 speed, you can burn down defensemen pretty easily in this game. So anyways, I guess we'll uh, see who we have to play here. I'm gonna keep doing the simming as I do, as I do, because if I just sim one game and play like three, then I'm not really making progress, and I don't wanna, I can, I won't be uploading these episodes as like every day, like Johnny does with uh, Zod. So you know, we'll go to Chicago, we'll play Chicago. Uh, we'll, uh, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. I don't really want them to sim the game. I'd rather go into the sim. Okay, that's fine. All right, so we'll go into the sim against Philadelphia here. And uh, so first period. And we're down three not three nothing. Then Hemsky gets one back and it ends up being a four one loss. So no changes there. We end up getting outshot completely by the Philadelphia Flyers, forty four to twenty seven. So no surprise that we did get smoked. But uh, yeah, so uh, I think we'll play the game against Chicago. Then we've got like a couple with like Dallas, Calgary. Probably end up skipping those. And then in the following week we have a game against a. Uh, a certain team that can uh, produce a very very interesting rivalry <laughs> if you if you did watch the uh, first year then uh, well if you probably will be watching this season this series too you probably know who it is who I'm talking about it's the Columbus Blue Jackets with Alexi Vigneault who uh, pretty much is a stud as well as Michael Pedersen they're actually twins that uh, they didn't really know each other until they met at the draft and uh, so so far they pretty much hate each other they want to be the better twin uh, they always drop the gloves. Yeah, so we'll sim. Dallas, San Jose, Calgary. Uh, let's just take a look. And there's another Columbus game. So you know what? This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll have eight games this episode. We'll play against Chicago. We'll play against Columbus. And then maybe I'll make it 10 and play another against Columbus because I think it's a home and away. Yeah, so we're home here and then away at Columbus. You know what, we'll do that, and we'll see if we can drop the gloves against Lexi Vigno. I did. I think I put fighting never, but uh, no, don't want to play the game, sorry. Sim the third. Sim to the third, that's what I want to do. Okay, so we'll go sim game. Here we go, first period, and we're up one. I think it's Yakuba with a the goal. Then Pedersen gets two in the second, so let's try to see if we could complete the hat trick for him. Here we go, we're going to intervene here in the third period. Uh... Yeah, that's fine with the jersey. Second line for Pedersen and an 86 overall now. Uh, created plays will turn off. And as you can see, it is Superstar. So we'll jump into this game and we'll see, we'll see if we can get a hat trick for Miko Pedersen. Uh, I think it's Crawford in that. I'm not 100% sure, but it'll be interesting to see. A nice start for Edmonton to this game. Definitely better than going down 3 nothing after the first like we did against the Flyers. But uh, other than that, yeah, Oilers uh, losing record so far. Definitely need to step it up. And, I mean, I don't know if you guys want me to play more games and extend the season a little longer, but I kind of want to go through the career of him. So, like, uh, as and as you saw at the beginning of this episode with the uh, GTA kind of intro, introdu introduced in there, uh, it might just make it a little bit more interesting to see as his life gets better and better. But, uh, yeah, we're going to jump in here. We got a shift, 19-10 left. 
We're gonna jump out and you know what? We're gonna crush someone. We, I wanna lay a big hit on player. Boo! Oh, damn it. That didn't. That wasn't a big hit. But we're gonna call for this. Send it over to Perron. Perron, I'm right behind you. I'm right behind you, bud. Oh, what a pass to Schultz. Schultz, put it away. Get the rebound. Oh, it's sod. With, uh, picked it up. I don't wanna drop the gloves with Shaw. But it's a 3 1 game. We wanna get the hat trick first. So. There you go, sod. Seabrook. Oh, Dubnik, hold on there. Schultz. You got me breaking out, Yakupov. Okay, look at this cut. Oh. Let's cut back to Pedersen's office. Ah, uh, that was a terrible shot. Yakupov, you got me down low. Good try, good try. Alright, we'll go on for the line change here. Been out there for about a minute or so. So let's keep going here. Next shift. We gotta get that hat trick goal, boys. No goals yet so far uh, in this third. Gonna jump on the ice here. Alright, Yakupov over to. Oh, crap. I misjudged that. Now I'm out of position. Roosevelt. Oh, shit. Nice save, Dubnik. Perron. You got me. You got me, Perron. There we go. Watch this move, boys. What a move. Over to Yakupov. Come on, Perron. Put it away. Oh, good try. Good try. Good try. Nice uh, nice move there by Mikko Pedersen. And I'm gonna lay a big hit on Shaw. Oh, can't do that. Oh, shouldn't have called for it, but oh well. We'll take it. Over to Yakupov. You got me behind you, Yakupov. You got me coming in this way. Cappy Bullen. Uh, Alright. Oh, what the hell went happening with the puck there? It kind of glitched over. Drop the gloves, Rosival. Drop them. Drop them. Ah, uh, nothing happening there. Alright, boys. Next shift, let's see if we can uh, Let's get that goal that dropped the gloves. I want to do that. Haven't done that in a while with uh, Miko Patterson here. So, uh. 13 minutes left and we still need that one more goal for that hat trick. I think it will be the second hat trick of the season for him. And now a big hit on Keith. Uh can time it. Lose the puck. Alright, we gotta play kinda like a center here. Playing watching the slot. I mean, I think Miko Pedersen, if he played winger, he'd be a much better player, but he is good on the face offs. So that's one thing that's positive from him. Okay. Right. Here we go. Let's cut back. Oh, oh, we got the moving, we got the moving snipe. Oh. See, I don't know if I should pull it back, but it kind of, uh, that's reminiscent of what I did in NHL 13. I don't know if it's going to work that much, but let's try and make a move here. One move around the boards. Oh, and Seabrook ties us up. All right, get that out before we get lose the puck. More in. All right, I need to lay a big hit on someone. Should I do it on Keith here? No, that won't work. All right, boys, let's go on line change. Our guy's pretty tired. And we'll send ahead to the next shift, which will be at the probably 10 minute mark. Yes, it is. So 10:20 left here, and still looking for that goal to get the hat trick. I mean, uh, I feel like they did improve the AI this year over NHL 13. All right, here we go. We're streaking through. Beat Rosival. Backhand. Oh, look at that! A backhand that ends up going in. Get on the knees. Look at that. Nice uh, goal, and that's the hat trick for Miko Pedersen. Uh, breakout speed, and he ends up getting it past the goalkeeper. For his 11th of the season and a hat trick in this game. Look at that speed. Just a quick backhand move, and the goalie's not able to reach it. So there we go. Miko Pedersen gets himself a hat trick. And I want to drop the gloves with someone here. Uh, they did change the fight off the face off thing. I don't even know if the center could do that. Oh, Patrick Kane. We got to lay this guy out. Keith to Seabrook to Seabrook to. Boo! Oh, that didn't work well. All right. Well, when we get a chance, I'm going to drop the gloves with someone. Okay, that's offside. Up the boards, up the boards, you got me. There you go, nice blast. Alright boys, quick move here, toe drag. Nice little move there. Oh, we got went right into him. Okay, drop the gloves, key. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. Let's go, we gotta fight. Come on here. We gotta try fighting it more realistically, but... Grab him. There we go. I do the best in grabs. When I could dodge a punch, it's actually good. But there we go. Look at that. Boom. Boom. Oh. Just keep pushing him. Boom. 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 Oh. Oh. He got us on the ropes there. Oh, no. Oh, no. This isn't good. Ah. Oh, and a knockout. Just a little quick jab in there. Ends up getting us, but we were close. We almost won that fight. 
And uh, in Hunt, I think I haven't lost a, a fight in about 10, 10 straight fights now because of that pulling thing. But uh, I guess computers are able to read it a little bit better. But anyways, that will, uh, we're fine with the hat trick. This will probably sim us maybe to the rest of the game. I don't know if the coach is going to bench you after losing that fight. But hopefully we didn't add a spark to uh, Chicago. No, we didn't. And that's what happened exactly. We ended up getting, getting benched for the rest of the game. But that's fine. We'll take the rest because we just got a hat trick, boys. And uh, 54 EA pucks. Okay, we won't get that anyways. But here we go. Uh, three stars of the game. Obviously, Michael Pedersen up there. Three goals in seven shots, three hits, plus two. Nice way to... Uh, Get a good game in there, and uh, his point total just went up a little bit because of that hat trick. And uh, it's nice to see that coming from uh, a little bit of a slow start compared to last year. Eight goals in 17 games isn't really that good, but now that you look at it, 11 and 18, let's say he picks up another two in the next one, 13 and 19, another two, 15 and 20. That just makes it look a lot better. Uh, he has to get on a hot streak, and uh, hopefully. He'll be able to continue that in the uh, Sims of the next few games. But look at that. We need one more assist and he'll get to Amateur 3. Still haven't got it. So uh, a little bit of uh, funny uh, stuff there. And 9 and 10 right now. Chicago wasn't really much of a good team. But an in interview here. Big night for you as you managed to score a hat trick. How did it feel? Not a big deal. I was always taught to act like I had scored before. <laughs> felt great i owe a lot of these goals to my line mates i got some great setups tonight knowing your fans love what you did there is no better feeling in the world good but getting the win is always more important than any individual accolades uh i don't want to be kind of douchey with that actually no we'll be douchey we won the game not a big deal an impressive night for devin dude making goal just knowing he can make a critical save when he didn't make the others more confident uh, well, not in real life, but uh, I guess in a video game, Dudik is not too bad. It definitely helps to have one of the best in the game. No, he's not one of the best in the game. When I press tonight, I'll be more confident when you see more nights like this, though. It doesn't change your confidence much. Devin seems to make the fans more confident, and that's what matters most. All right, we'll just go with that. Uh, how do you think your performance contributed to the Oilers' win tonight? I thought I played a big part in the win tonight like I do every night. Just my standard performance again tonight. Amazing. <laughs> uh, we'll just go with that because of the hat trick. All right, so uh, management goes down one. I'm surprised teammate didn't go down, but fans go up six. So we're gonna we're on the fan side. Uh, funny interviews there, and uh, so yeah, Dallas Stars will probably end up seeing this one as well as the San Jose and Calgary game. Actually, you know what? I might just play San Jose. Uh, actually, I think it'd probably be best to just go two games at at a time. So, anyways, here first period, zero zero. Second period, it'd be going and getting goal, and then three nothing. With a Hemsky and Hall. So no goals for Pedersen in this one. But I'm guessing he might have gotten an assist. Uh, maybe on the power play line. I don't know yet. But we'll uh, take a look at it real in just one second. So another uh, win for Edmonton. They're starting to string together a winning streak here. Really, really good to see. And uh, hopefully we can make that jump to the first line sooner rather than later. Uh, no, no points for Pedersen. That's fine. Next game against San Jose. Which I don't know if they're a good team or not. But... Anyway, what is this? Off-ice event. While your family is in town to visit, your parents want to use your car to run errands and see the city. What do you say? Oh, they came all the way from Denmark. Oh, definitely. Uh, absolutely. Take it for however long you need it for. I'll get a ride from a teammate. Definitely. Excited that you say yes. Your mother brings you home some fresh socks and underwear. Oh, awesome. Fresh socks and underwear. So plus five for family there. Nice to see. And now against the San Jose Sharks, which I might just play. Or I'll play, you know what, we'll play the Battle of our Alberta and then the Columbus game. And we'll sim the Fl the Florida, Chicago, and Nashville game up to the next Columbus game. So, we're going to play the Battle of Alberta. But we're first, we got to sim this game here. And uh, so, yeah, first period, uh, we're down 3 nothing. Second period, 4-1, and then 4-2. So, no, another no goals for, uh, no goal night for Pedersen. But uh, hopefully that could change in, against Calgary in the uh, Battle of Alberta because it seems like Patterson comes up big in a lot of those games. But, uh, yeah, another, well, that ends the uh, list, the small loot, the winning streak that uh, Edmonton had, 4-2. to two. And so, yeah, nothing there. And we're going to keep on going here next game against Calgary uh, on the road in the Scotiabank Saddle Dome. I'm going to guess that's what the name is. Uh, oh, interview. Do you get the feeling from your teammates that there is a rivalry brewing between you and Calgary? Oh, obviously, maybe they do, but I certainly don't think so. The whole team showed off to skate this morning. You know it's a big game when that happens. I didn't show up. I'm just joking. We'll just say that. Uh, just to get the fans and management up, so that's good. 
Alright boys, here we go. Sim the game. We'll go to third and uh, jump into it. First period, 1-1 one, one, and the goals come from Hall and Butler. Second period, it's 2-2, two, two, Gange and Hudler. Wait, Hudler score? No, Butler. Alright. So third period, we'll intervene and we'll see if we can pick up a goal with Pedersen and steal this game. Flames a uh, much worse team. But uh, look at that down the middle. Oh my goodness. 86, 86, 85. Just, just beasting right there. Uh, creator plays off. I don't even know if I have one, so it doesn't matter. But superstar, just to show you guys, I am not lying. So keep going here and uh, see if we can pick up a game-winning goal for the Edmonton Oilers. We, we did uh, get that hat trick goal because of the speed. If we could get another uh, breakout play like that for us, that'd be uh, fantastic. So should be uh, loading up in just one second, and we'll jump into the third period as soon as it does. There we go. All right, let's jump into the game, and we'll see if we could pull off a win here in Calgary. All right, keep simming. Five and five in the last ten games. So we've been pretty even. Where are we? I think we're ten and eleven, or ten and yeah, ten and eleven so far, or ten and ten. I'm not sure, but we have ten wins. So let's make it eleven here. Come out on the ice. We're gonna knock someone out. Galliardi? No, no, no. All right, we're on the boards. There we go. Peron, you got it. Back to Pedersen. Oh, God, no. Oh, and that's that goal right there was Pedersen's fault. Uh, I didn't really, I didn't call for it from Peron. He just kind of gave it to me. It might have been a suicide pass, but, I mean, I shouldn't have tried getting out. I should have just passed it along again. Nice win face off there. We're going to get it back, and we're going to get this goal back, boys. Just watch. All right, we got this. Now let's do a wraparound. Oh, God, I got laid out there. I'm not gonna fight because we need the uh, we need the goal, but uh, I want to lay someone out here. All right, got me around the boards. Pass it. Oh Jesus, another terrible pass. Porter, no, no, nice block, Pedersen. There we go. Up to Smith. Smith, you had Yakupov, but that's fine. Potter, oh, nice try, nice try. I'm gonna lay him out. Nope, that's not gonna work. There we go. Big hit on Backlund. Now we'll go off the line change. We just got to put that one up there. Okay, Sim, before they get a goal here, 3-2. to two. Come on, Everton, let's get one back. It's not just a Miko Patterson show. All right, we're out, and our line's already out there. Yak, Bob, and Peron. Oh, God, what a giveaway. I don't even know who the hell that was. Big hit here on gun class. Nope. Oh, nice save, dude. Nice save. Potter, you got me. Never mind, you got Yakupov. Drop it off. There we go. Nice play. We're going to cut in and snipe. Oh, what a goal. Like I called it. Pedersen puts it away. 3-3. And uh, just a little snipe past the goal. He might have been screamed there. Who was that? McDonald? Yeah. And Pedersen gets his 12th of the year. Yakupov with the assist and Potter with the other one. Look at that. Just cut in. 45 degree cut. And boom. A little snipe there. And puts it away to make it 3-3. And Miko Pedersen turns up once again. And ties up the game. He makes a... Uh, improves the mistake he made that cost the third goal and we'll see if he can get the game winning goal here he's starting off on the face off so with full energy so that's good we don't have to wait for a line change for our line mates to come on and they tie us up oh and there we go we're on the penalty kill yeah we're starting on the bench but we'll probably get some penalty kill time uh yeah Kabal ends up slashing the stip stick and breaking it so uh not a good uh, start after getting that first goal after that, I mean the third goal, first one for Miko Pedersen, but we didn't get any penalty kill time, but that's fine. We'll get back on here. We're going to take over Gang A spot, and I want to lay a big hit on someone, but since we're in the offensive zone, here we go. Justin Schultz, little shot here. Weidman. All right, we got the puck off, but no one was there to pick it up. All right, I want to glide into someone and just ram him. All right, here we go. That was a bad play by me. I should have stayed in my position. Just watch the slot. Watch the slot. Okay, pressure. There we go. Nice job by Patterson. All right, boys. Quick move here. That was terrible. <laughs> that didn't go exactly to plan. All right, so we'll go off on a line change. 3-3 three, three game. Sim it before they get a chance to shoot here. And uh, nine minutes left. Let's see if we get back out there right away. So 3-3 uh, three, three game. We need that game-winning goal. Kind of want a shootout chance, though. I don't think I've had one yet. I wouldn't mind getting, I wouldn't, I don't think our team's lost in overtime yet. We have been to overtime once or twice, but, oh, nice quick move. Cheeky, over to Peron, lay it off. Cool. Oh, damn, I was going to take a clapper. 
Alright, I'll look against the boards. We'll give it to Petri. Petri, take a shot. McDonald's ends up picking it up. But that's fine. Good pressure so far here from the Oilers, and uh, that's going to be 3-3 three three still as we go back off for another uh, shift. Pretty productive shifts, sh shifts, no, shifts so far. But uh, five minutes left. Let's see if we can get that game-winning goal, boys. All right, here we go. Who is that? Yakupov. Come on, Yak. You got it. You got it. Do something with it. You got me down low. You got me down low for support. Back up top for Yakupov. Over to Smeed. Smeed. Oh, it's off the post. Oh, my God. Jesus, wow, what a chance. All right, boys, they're going to knock out Stajan just because he used to be a Toronto player. Look at that. Look at that hit. Over to speed. Oh, we need the puck. Don't play it around there. There's no one there. Come on. Schultz got me ahead. Oh, jeez, nice save, Dubnik. All right, Yakupov. Don't. Why? Why would you play it that way? You had me along the boards. You could have just done that. Oh, tip and shot. Dubnik covered that up. All right, we're going to go off on a line change. There we go. All right, 3-3. Three, three. See if we could get another uh, goal here, another shift, hopefully. Uh, hopefully Calgary doesn't score on the uh, shift that I'm off the ice on. Well, they have the uh, face-off in our zone. So, uh, sim ahead, 3-3, three, three. sim to deck shift. Okay, 3-3, three, three, that's fine. Two minutes left. Let's get on the ice, boys, and let's get make something happen. Here we go. Who's bringing that in? Schultz, Perron. Oh, bad pass. A little bit of saucer. Oh, God. I thought that was going to be a breakaway. Hudler has got it. That's fine. We're going to knock him out. Boom. Sit down, Yuri. <laughs> Big hit there. Had a nice little poke. Come on. No, 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 no. Dubnik. Oh. And it's Galliardi who puts it away to make it 4-3. Ugh. Painful, painful there on a little rebound. I mean, I guess you could say that was my uh, tap that could have caused it, but Ugh, Dubnik, you gotta cover that up. Don't want to give up too much rebounds. But anyways, here we go. We're back on uh, the ice with 110 left. We might be out there for the rest of the game, depending on how it goes. I kind of want to stay on here. But uh, look at that broken stick to start off. And now we've got our okay. We've got our defensive back. That's fine. But we need a goal here. Big hit on Hudler. Sit down, buddy. Patterson's getting the hell, knocking the hell out of people. All right, boys. Here we go. Quick move through the legs, dangles, and no, oh, that's not gonna work. Tried too much there. Hit on Galliardi. Nope, that's not going to work. Anyways, here we go. 4-3. 40 seconds left. We need something. Hudler. Nice save, Dubnik. All right, Perron, get it up to me. There we go. Come on, Patterson. You got it. Quick move. Cut back. Find it to Schultz. Schultz. Oh, man. He shot it low. He shot it across the net. That might have been. No, empty net. No, get the buck. You got... No, why would you... do? Oh. I mean, I think it's a legitimate NHL play, but... I don't think it would work too well here. Potter, you got me. You got me. Don't dump it in. All right, there we go. Nine, eight. Quick move. Go in. Someone to the front of the net. No, three seconds left. So it definitely looks like drop the gloves, bud. Drop it. Drop them. Drop them. Drop them. Drop them. Drop them. Nope. All right, so they don't want to fight with three seconds left. We're the extra attacker here. Come on, just win the face off Gagne to over to... Uh, Schultz, Schultz to the front. Rebound. No, it didn't let me take the rebound. No. Oh, oh my goodness. We had it right there. We couldn't knock it out of midair, but oh well, a loss in the Battle of Alberta. So, but we get a goal. So that's a that's a positive thing from that. Uh, Stajan, Galliardi, and Hudler the, the first star honors there. So we'll exit out of this game. Four three loss. Tough one to swallow there because we had the game on our, on the line for quite a bit of time there. But uh, the next game, boys, will be against the Columbus Blue Yakets. And we'll see if we could uh, pull off a win against Alexi Vainu. I kind of want to drop the gloves with Alexi Vainu just to see how it's going to go that fight. Because they have fought in the Memorial Cup. They have fought in the uh, NHL as well as last year. But we'll see how it goes. Anyways, here changes. Philip Larson's injured, so that's all right. I don't even know who that is, to be honest. But a 10 and 12 record, two losses in a row. We got to get one back against Columbus, who I don't think they're doing too well, even with Alexi Vangu in their lineup. But uh, that just might be because they're Columbus. No, they're uh, they're a decent team in real life too. But uh, 7, 11, 12, 2, so not the best. But we're gonna sim this game all the way to the third, and we're gonna see if we could get at least a lead here. First period, it's three to two, and Vangu ends up getting one goal, and Pedersen gets one. So look at that, Pedersen gets a goal. Vangu responds, three to two. 
uh, and becomes three to three. Vanyo with a second. So oh man, this is a turning into a classic. Vanyo's got two goals. Pedersen's got one. And it's three three going to the third. Mm -mm -mm. This is gonna be a good game. All right, boys. Superstar, as you can see, and we're gonna jump into this game. So Vanyo, oh man, Vanyo uh, might be the best. Comparing the players, Vanyo might be a more defensive player. Uh, but he does have offensive abilities. I mean, I wouldn't compare him to someone like Datsyuk, but let's say he is both good at defense and good at offense, where Pedersen is really good at offense, but not too good at defense in terms of his stats. I mean, it's easy, easily upgraded. I mean, he's decent in there. Like, he can get the job done, and he's on the PK, but other than that, not much. But Vanya, I don't know if we'll be on the same lines as Vanya, but look at him. Oh my goodness, let's see if we could get anything going here. 3-3, three, three. and it's still 3-3. Still three, three. Let's see if Vango's off uh, is out for them. It'd be interesting to see. I think he's number 93. Nope, nothing there. Perron, Tutin, big hit. Nope, that's not going to work. I want to see if we could get out against their first line, because we'll probably end up getting like line matches, uh, since is definitely on their first line. Oh, broken stick. You got me. You got me, Perron. Oh, my goodness. What a pass. What a terrible pass that was. Cut back. Nice job. Patterson. Snipe. Oh, we tried looking short side there. Stick lift him. Stick lift him. Oh, that's not going to work. God damn it. All right. We'll go off on a line change before, right after we hit this guy. No. That's a penalty. Okay. Drop the gloves, Calvert. Let's go. So Calvert wants to fight us. Oh, look at that. We caught him down. Nice job, Pedersen. A little bit pussy because we couldn't knock him out, but we were able to get him do get him uh, down. Look at that. Wipe the stick. I mean, wipe the hands. Pump up the crowd. Let's go. We just beat Calvert. A little bastard stepped in. Look, uh, a little hit there. It wasn't really t anything bad, but Calvert took exception to that. And uh, we actually got a two-minute penalty for that. I don't know what that was. But we got the fight win. We stepped up after Calvert knocked, uh, after we knocked down whoever that was. So, we'll be uh, jumping out of the box. Oh, look at that. 4-3. I wonder who scored. It might have been Vanya, but 8 minutes left, and we're going to be coming back out. And we're going to see if we can make some damage here. Is that Vanya? Is that Vanya? No, it's not. All right, boys. Here we go. Let's make a move. Oh, look at that. Oh, I tried getting a low chance for Yakubov. I mean, I could've, probably could have passed it across, but good chance there for uh, the Edmonton Oilers, Miko Pedersen. All right, kind of want to drop the gloves again because we were able to beat Calvert. But oh, nice try! Good, jo good job, Justin Schultz. Over to Peron, drop it off. Peron, drop it off. Yakbov, Yak City. Oh, it's off the post. What a chance! Oh my goodness, that would have been a nice pass by uh, Patterson. And uh, you know what? We're gonna lay out Murray and then we'll go off on a line change. Nope, that didn't work too as a plan. But actually, you know what? Let's keep going. We've got, we've got them caught on line change. Look at that speed! Look at that speed! Pedersen, oh, try to drive to the front of the net. Nice chance there. And, uh, okay, we'll go off on a line change now. We'll sim ahead here. Six minutes left in the game. Can we get another shift? Probably will. Oh, that was a long break on the bench. But uh, three minutes left in this game, and we're back on the ice. Is that Trevor Gillies? I don't know if he's a defenseman. Probably another one. All right, pick up the puck, boys. Here we go. Pedersen breaking out on the wing. Cuts in, cuts back, cuts back, cuts back on front. Oh, Taylor Hall. Oh, we're playing on a line with uh, Taylor Hall now. I wouldn't mind going on the first line, to be honest. Pe oh, look at that. Broken stick. Patterson uh, down on one knee. Let's get another one. All right, there we go. And now I want to lay a big hit on whoever this is. That didn't work too well. Mackenzie. Oh, there we go. That's a big hit. Over to uh, Perron. We've got Perron and Yakbov out. Justin Schultz. Oh, I shouldn't have, probably shouldn't have called for it. I uh, wanted to get a kind of want to get a fight there, but since it's 154, I don't know if we'll be getting back out for this game. We couldn't really get a chance to play against Vanga because of the lines. But uh, 20 seconds left. They might have Vanga out there. Uh, no, they don't. But we'll see. Is the goalie pulled? No, goalie's not pulled, unfortunately. So nine seconds left, and looks like this one's over. Let's try to see if we could drop the gloves against someone here. Come on, get over here, buddy. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. Ah, uh, so we can't get a fight there, but we won one. But another loss for the Edmonton Oilers, and it's another close one, four to three. 
add that. So I uh, wonder who scored that last goal. Vango got two. So the last goal is actually scored by Nathan Horn. So Vango with two goals. He ends up getting nine. Improves his uh, goals total to nine on the year. A little bit short of Patterson's, but he's, he's a good player in his own right uh, as a sniper in that first line center position. We need to get on that first line sooner rather than later, hopefully. But uh, I don't know whether to... Uh, I think we'll uh, wrap up this episode uh, as it stands. So uh, we'll wait for it to load. We'll go over the stats, but uh, we won't be simming or playing any other games. Because uh, if we did play three, so in the next one we'll probably sim a lot more. But we'll play. I'm gonna try playing three games per episode. Uh, so next one, let me know. We'll say Florida, Chicago. We'll sim. We'll play the Columbus one. We'll sim those three. Then we'll play against Col. We'll play. I kind of want to play against Calgary, but uh, Boston. We'll play Vancouver maybe. Carolina. Carolina looks like a good good team. We'll play against them. But we'll see. As you can see here. With the uh, stats, Miko Pedersen himself is having an okay, okay start. I mean, not definitely not what he did in his first year, but in terms of points, Pedersen's up there se second on the team, 13 goals, six assists in 23 games, no complaining there. 74 penalty minutes. I don't know if that's leading the NHL or not, but uh, in Columbus, Vigno is he leading the team in points? Second behind Johnson. So nine goals, six assists in 22 games for Vigno. Definitely. Uh, a solid start for the season for him as well. And in the NHL, it happens to be Getzlaff with 29 points in 23 games. Man, he is just on a scoring tear at this point. It looks like Anaheim's getting off to a good start. Eric Stahl also with Carolina. Nice job for him. Uh, Pelliamets. Yeah, we do lead it. Uh, right behind McQuaid, who's got 71, but 74 for Pedersen. <laughs> leading the league in Pelliamets as a sniper. It's kind of funny to see. Uh... That, I think that's about it. So that will wrap up uh, this episode. Vango, yeah. So I'm probably end up winning the Calder for a second straight year. <laughs> but uh, that will wrap up this episode of Miko Pedersen uh, Live the Life. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.